shamans, physicians, and pharmacists have dabbled in the notion of marijuana as medicine for thousands of years, but the relief patients feel is largely anecdotal. Marijuana status as a Schedule I drug means that according to the federal government, it has no accepted medical use. The U.S. government strictly controls all American marijuana studies, and researchers who want to study cannabis must obtain it from this facility at the University of Mississippi. By some accounts, the supply is extremely limited and of questionable quality. And some scientists claim that if their research might show potential positive medical uses for marijuana, their requests are rejected. It's a charge the government denies. But in other nations, getting cannabis to scientists is less complicated. Israel is among the leaders in medical marijuana research. From his lab bench in Jerusalem, Raphael Meshulam has fathered nearly two generations of peer-reviewed medical research. He first discovered THC in 1964. Cannabis, although it had been investigated, nobody had really isolated it in pure form, and uh, neither were all the other compounds uh, there. So I thought that it's high time that somebody should do that. For 40 years at Hebrew University, researchers study effects of THC and other cannabinoids on people and laboratory animals. Meshulam dissolves the THC in an oil-based solution. In this form, measured doses can be administered accurately. Researchers here have witnessed promising results in the treatments of brain trauma, diabetes, cancers, and osteoporosis. Twenty-year-old Eyal Preisler underwent a bone marrow transplant a year and a half ago. Since then, his body experiences a chronic quasi-rejection called graft versus host disease. I am treated by the THC drops for two months already, meaning that I just started and I already saw changes, whether it is the digestive system, the diarrhea that is gone, and my skin that was very hard is now softer and back to its original state. My appetite is back. It significantly increases the appetite and I actually gained four kilos in the past two months. I need to gain a lot more weight to get back to where I was. Each dose that Eyal takes is as measured as any prescribed medicine. Most marijuana taken as medicine in America is not. Medical marijuana in the States means use of marijuana uh, against uh, diseases. Now, from my point of view, medical marijuana is not well defined. It should be better defined. If you take aspirin, you want to take 500 milligrams of aspirin. You don't want to say, well, I don't know how much I'm getting, 20 milligrams or 2 grams. I don't see any difference why one should have a different attitude when works with, working with marijuana. Uh, and if marijuana can have anything between 2% and 20%, THC, I don't think that this is the right way to do it. One thing is certain, much cannabis today has no resemblance to the plant of our ancestors. This weed, the proverbial sow's ear of yesterday's cannabis, has become a silk purse. Life seems to be very complicated in every place of the world. Most of us are anxious from time to time. Most of us are depressed from time to time. We want to change that. And uh, in, <clears throat> in many cases, such a change can be brought forward by cannabis. So that's why people use it, that's all. So if a stranger walked up to you and poured pebble-like seeds into your hand and then said, plant them and your harvest can be made into rope, cloth or paper, it could help the sick or intoxicate. What would you say? Would you keep the seeds or chuck them away?